Saturday, February 27, 2021. We continue our In the Black Moment in Black History with Dr. John Brown, an educator, musician, minister of music, songwriter, and arranger. Dr. John David Brown was born on September 6, 1943, to the late Mr. Thomas Lee and Mrs. Ruth Myers Brown in Chicago, Illinois. He later moved to Birmingham, Alabama as a child, where he was reared by his grandmother, Fanny Lou Brown. After accepting Christ at an early age, he became a member of New Hope Baptist Church under the leadership of the late Dr. Herman Stone. Dr. Brown's love and passion for music began at a young age. He started singing with the Herman Stone Choir. He also organized his first community choir with five children consisting of his siblings and friends. Because of his ambition to play the piano on the doorsteps of his grandmother's home, she purchased him a piano. Dr. Brown's passion for music continued to grow stronger. In addition to working in education for many years, he later became a musician at Shiloh Baptist Church in Norwood, playing for the Sunday School and Senior Choir. He would go on to play for other churches. A full circle moment occurred in Dr. Brown's life when he became the Minister of Music at New Hope Baptist Church, serving over 40 years under Dr. Stone and our current pastor, Dr. Gregory L. Clark. Dr. Brown produced and recorded New Hope's first album, featuring the Senior Choir and Herman Stone Choir in 1983, entitled, I'll Be Singing Up There, featuring gospel gems such as Dr. Maddie Moss Clark's I Thank You, Lord, Go, I Really Love the Lord, and God's Amazing Grace, led by the late Ruby Boyd. He later produced Turn It All Over to the Lord, featuring the Mass Choir, the Male Chorus, and the Herman Stone Mass Choir. The album featured the title track, God Is, Dr. DeRose Sooner Than Right Now, A Leak in the Building, and I'm Gonna Wait. Dr. Brown was a founding member of Birmingham Community Mass Choir in 1968 and later served as Minister of Music for many years. In addition to being an active participant locally and nationally in the Gospel Music Workshop of America, Dr. Brown founded the Church Music Workshop. His vision with his workshop was to bring local choir members, local directors, and musicians together to teach attendees the foundation of gospel music and to preserve the legacy of gospel music. For over 10 years, clinicians and songwriters such as Dr. Margaret DeRoe, B. Michael McKay, Dr. Kay Pace, Leonard Burke, Kirk Franklin, Gregory Brown, the late Dr. Bernard Williams, Dr. Prince Yelder, and the late Brenda Banks Smith presented at the church music workshop. Dr. Brown also worked with artists such as Richard Smallwood, Kathy Taylor, Dorothy Norwood, Donnie Hopper, Helen Baylor, and other gospel legends. Because of his strong leadership in music, Dr. Brown was tapped by the Greater Birmingham Convention and Visitors Bureau to promote tour groups by introducing a program entitled Gospel and Grits. Dr. Brown's choir, later known as True Praise Worshippers, became the official choir for his initiative. The choir traveled to numerous states, including Chicago, Detroit, Texas, Washington, D.C., and a tour to Spain. Later, Dr. Brown served under the leadership of Bishop Owaski Moore as pastor of praise and worship, teacher of the seasoned saints, and director of cultural arts ministry. If I can help somebody as I pass along, if I can cheer somebody with a word or song, if I can show somebody that he's traveling wrong, then my living will not be in vain. Truly, Dr. Brown's living was not in vain. This has been your New Hope in the Black moment in black history.